Antigua and Barbuda is a small island developing state that is particularly vulnerable to climate change, extreme rainfall, sea level rise, and intense storms. Hurricane Irma devastated Barbuda in September 2017, destroying most properties and making daily life extremely challenging for the approximately 2,000 people inhabiting the small Caribbean island. More than 20 vulnerable countries met with the Adaptation Fund in Antigua to share project experiences and best practices in climate change adaptation. They discussed the importance of the fund's pioneering direct access modality, which empowers country ownership and adaptation, especially in the Caribbean, where hurricanes are increasing, and visited the fund's project in Antigua. The Adaptation Fund funds a nearly $10 million climate change adaptation project in Antigua and Barbuda, implemented by the country's Department of Environment, and designed to help the most vulnerable communities in Antigua's northwest coastal McKinnon's watershed become more resilient to sea level rise, flooding, hurricanes, and higher temperatures. The project is implementing drainage systems, retention ponds, and wetlands restoration while providing concessional loans to densely populated urban low-income residents to climate-proof their homes and businesses, as well as grants to community groups to develop climate-resilient buildings and storm shelters. We have an issue with flooding in this area. The water comes from the Woods Pond to the east and goes all the way to McKinnon's Pond. These waterways become clogged from time to time with debris from households and because of the small culverts, when it becomes clogged, it creates flooding. Here you see the problem of stagnant water and insufficient size of drainage. The Department of Environment came with a design to expand the culverts and the waterway. This solution will improve this vulnerable low-income area and the stagnation of water which is a big problem with mosquitoes and vectors for diseases. In a year or two's time, this project should be completed and the entire waterway, which is about eight miles long, should be upgraded, and the flooding problem for this area resolved. Low-interest loans provided to climate-proof homes will also help vulnerable residents who are exposed to up to nine inches to a foot high of water coming into their houses along the canal and flooding in the roads with every heavy rain. An important cultural event took place during the same week as the workshop. Antigua and Barbuda celebrated Emancipation Day on August 1st, the date on which slaves in many Caribbean countries were freed in 1834. It is a symbol of the country's freedom, creativity, and resilience.